Okay. Hello. So what I'm going to show you now is how to uh, mount a specimen. And I'm um, doing one of the kits that you have. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing the uh, brown gluey paper. You can see one side's uh, shiny. And I'm going to uh, see if I can use this cutter shredder to cut some bits. But there's no reason why you can't use either a little home guillotine or a pair of scissors. Um, a large pair of dressing scissors would be better. I'm going to trim off the edge so I've got a nice edge. And I want pieces that are about uh, roughly three, three and a half millimetres wide, like that one. And, uh, and that one. And I also want pieces that are a bit narrower, about two and a half millimetres wide. And you can see that I'm not measuring that, I'm just doing it by eye. Uh, and, but at first, if you're unsure, you could just do some by measuring them until you get a feel for it and then you're off and running. Now, uh, mostly, I think most of the tape is a bit wider than that, and if your tape's a bit wider, then that's good. Uh, this should be okay for most purposes. There might be some cases where this tape is just a little narrow for very large objects, in which case you'll just have to cut lengthways. So, but if you can avoid that, that would be good because you'll get a lot out of them. So I've got those pieces of uh, tape and I want a card and you can see that it uh, sort of flops one way and it holds up quite well the other way. So I'm going to mount it with the way in which it holds up a bit better by itself because that's a sort of natural thing. Now, Normally at this stage I'd have the labels ready, so I'm going to pretend, if you like, that I've got a, a label ready by uh, just putting that there. So if, if this envelope, if I had this label, that's where I would put the label. I'd put it in the lower right-hand corner. I'd put a little bit of glue along the right-hand edge, and I would just move that into a about a millimetre or two in from the bottom and the side edge. Rub that down and then that's there. And the beauty of doing it that way is that if the specimen is fairly large, you can flip this over the specimen. So it means you can use this whole area, just as I'm showing with my hand. Uh, what sort of glue? Well, the glue sticks, the blue stick, the yellow sticks that, that you buy for um, you know, one and a half dollars or something from Kmart or Big W or uh, news agents are just fine. And in fact, they're much less messy than uh, using uh, wood glue, which would be the other thing that's okay. But I'd suggest that when you're putting the glue on, you just do it uh, on a separate piece of newspaper so it's out of the way and you're keeping your workspace clean. So I have a specimen here kindly, temporarily donated, very nicely pressed, uh, and I'm, in this case, I'm, oh, you see it's actually pressed so that, that that's the side that's lying flatter, I think you can see. So um, rather than having it going left to right, in this case I'm going to go with the flow and go with the way it's pressed and put it right, uh, left to, to uh, right to left, base left to right. Now, that's fine. Uh, the specimen, I can move up. The label, in any case, will flip over there, remember? And it's not such a big deal that I can't see the base because I can always lift up the label to have a little peek later on if I need to. And it's there, that's the main thing. It's there, nicely uh, presented. Now, I want to keep uh, the specimen away from the edges, okay? No point uh, 
say doing this, trying to mount it right on the edge to get that uh, root system out from underneath the label because it's only going to get damaged along the edge. So much better that you're in. Uh, in general, if you've got it, uh, use the space. So a couple of centimetres is great. But even if you've got a fairly large specimen, if you can keep it a centimetre away from the edges, that's great. Even less than that is OK, but don't have it over the edge. There's no point because uh, uh, it will the specimen will just be damaged. So um, in the other thing you want to do is that if, for example, there was additional material that had to go into a cellophane bag, remember uh, that the cellophane bag of whatever bits and pieces uh, you would also make a little label. It can be just from a little uh, uh, one or two centimetre square of A4 white paper and you put on that your initials and last name and your collecting number straight out of the collecting book. Or in this case, this bit doesn't have the label but the rest does, so I would copy exactly what was on, the, uh, on that label so that you uh, got it, got the right thing. You would fold that bag over and you can fold it again. It can be slipped into the bag, but before you slip it in, again, you need to stick down the bag. And there's no golden rule as to where the bag goes. In this case, it's sort of, I think, obvious that it can go there. OK, I can put the, the there. And notice I'm putting the opening bit there so it's inside. Uh, it wouldn't be a disaster if it went the other way around. And I'm going to glue in there. So I would grab the glue stick and I would put glue like so, uh, so that the bottom third or quarter uh, sticks down. I then place that down and then I can slip in the bag, the cellophane bag, which has the bits and pieces plus the tag or the label with my initials, last name and collector's number. Now, so it's good thinking about those placements before you start getting going because what you don't want to do is go uh, mount the specimen and go, oops, where am I going to fit the, the envelope if you have one? So it's worth thinking about that at this stage. Uh, so I'm pretty right there. Uh, with this uh, paper, uh, it's uh, the glued paper. Um, there are herbaria around the world that still use um, archival quality either cloth or paper that's glued uh, to put down specimens. Uh, we use an archival 3M tape which is not sticky tape or cello tape or magic tape. Any of those things are expressly forbidden because in, within a few years they will uh, discolour, they will come off and, and they will not protect the specimen and they will be a waste of time and effort and, and money. 